Okay, hi guys, welcome to a new video series. As you can tell, I'm probably not Sebastian. My name is Nigel and today I'm here to show you a new format or more like introduce an existing format that many people actually don't know about. That's called Penny Dreadful. So why exactly is Penny Dreadful? Well, according to the MTG wiki, it says it's a online only format where it only allows cards that cost less than 0 0.02 ticks to be able to use in your deck. So this will mean commons, uncommons, rares and mythics. As long as it's under 0 0.02 ticks, it's legal in Penny Dreadful, you can put it in your deck or your sideboard. So it's just like any other constructed format, 60 cards, 15 cards sideboard. And then again, it's quite unique because not only is it cheap, but um, decks will never really, or cards will not really get banned as uh, cards will only rotate out when they become illegal and when they become illegal, they exceed the 0 0.02 ticks price point. Now you might be wondering, well, if the format only allows cards 0, 0.0 ticks and below, it shouldn't contain much good cards and thus there's not a lot of reasons or not good enough reasons to play the format. Or you could be wrong, like look at for example this reanimate here from the premium deck series Grave Pond. It only, it only costs 0 0.02 ticks and even so, you can still buy the other additions. For example, like let's look at this promo one here. It's only 0 0.04 ticks. You could still put it in your deck and it still be legal because there's another version of Reanimate that exists at the legal price point. And there's other Reanimates at a cheaper price as well, like this foil version, 0 0.05 ticks only, or this Vintage Masters version being at 0 0.06 ticks. So there's actually a lot of powerful cards being played in Penny Dreadful. Another example would probably be Buried Alive being legal in the format. Now let's see here, Buried Alive only costs like 0 0.0 ticks from the Grave Point edition again. Same for Dread Return, that's legal. Malik and Electrolyze are also completely legal in this format. So there are a bunch of rather powerful cards. So let's look at the, the meta game as a whole. So um the community of Pain Dreadful, they actually boast that they have around 10,000 cards which are legal for play in the format, which means 10,000 cards that meet the ticket requirement. So as you can see here, there are really a lot of decks and the results are quite recent as well. Let's have a look at a top tier deck, for example, like uh, Mono Black Devotion right here. It was only played like 4 days ago, it's showing 16 of April on my clock. And as you can see, the deck in paper, it's quite expensive, $30. But when I switch to online, it's only 0.8 ticks. That's not even one ticks. That's actually quite cool. So, and it also plays very powerful cards. Like you get to play Cauldron Familiar and Witch's Oven, which is like a standard combo. Or Gatekeeper of Malakir, which is a really old card from back in Zendika. And it was an all-star back then. It's extremely cost-efficient card, powerful effect. You can play new cards like Timarad or even old schools like Vampire Nighthawk which was kind of together with Gatekeeper back in standard. You can play cards like Gary, you can play cards that are seeing playing Legacy like Dark Ritual, Reanimate, such things and even Underworld Dreams, yeah. And also there's a lot of, as you can see from the results on my right, there's a lot of people playing Penny Dreadful all the time. So it's actually quite amazing that people are hitting out on this format yet. And as we go back and switch to online prices again, everything is either one ticks as shown here, or just like I clicked on the black deck earlier, it's less than one ticks. Let's, let's look at another deck. Let's look at the deck I'm playing. More red, uh, red deck wins. It's only about 1.13 ticks. Fine. That's that's really cheap. That's even cheaper than renting from card holder. You rather just buy the deck instead of renting. Now as I've gone through what Penny Dreadful looks like in terms of its meta game cards involved, now it's time to go through how Penny Dreadful actually operates. So the community actually operates across three platforms. Uh, firstly is this website, pennydreadfulmagic.com. They are Discord as well as a bot on Magic Online. Now I'll leave all the links in the description below including the MPG Goldfish uh, list of meta decks. So here is the Penny Dreadful Magic website. I would say it's pretty well done. It's very it's very simple, minimalistic, but um, it contains loads of information that we want you to play this format. So they'll show you the top decks, uh, that's mine as well. I was playing a link earlier this afternoon, 401. So Penny Dreadful Magic only has two types of tournaments on Magic Online. The first playing league, 
or which is the more popular one I would say and the second being competitions. Now how does their link work? We shall jump to that first. So a lake will last for a month and a month counts as a season and during the, the time when the lake is still active you can sign up anytime. And a lake will count as completing uh, five like five matches against five different opponents slash decks and you have to keep the same deck for that one league so you can't just play three games in the league and then switch to a different deck for example you have to, you have to use the same deck you used for the three games earlier and you only can have one run going at once and of course this is rather interesting because the league you have to sign up so i'm already signed up with a deck over here but we'll get into that tomorrow with a link run um, you can also drop out from the link, you have a retire button here in case you want to cut short your link and you know change to a different deck or something else. Also, the the link is actually quite interesting because it works with the bot on Magic Online. So the bot is also related to your Discord. You need Discord to play all Pain Dreadful tournaments. So the bot here will actually update like who won against who. Like earlier I actually won a game. Um, so it automatically reported. You can report leak scores, but that is usually unnecessary or when the bot has some error which it did report your game. Because every time you play a game of Magic Online using Penny Dreadful, you actually have a Penny Dreadful bot uh, inspecting or you know uh, witnessing the game. So of course the leak has a record. So the records page here has shown the most recent decks or the ones that are also ongoing as well, the most recent finishes. So I have two lists right here, they're the same list but one of them is ongoing. And the bot is actually really fast so your results will actually be posted on the website uh, instantly. And also here is the leaderboard. So the leaderboard is really long of course, this being a almost free format and having decks as cheap as it is there will obviously be a lot of people playing this format so uh, the win will give you a point and of course if you have 5 wins there is a slight bonus in which that you get an extra point so 5-0 is usually 6 points and of course there's a top 8 here the top 8 is there for a reason apparently uh, Penny Dreadful Magic is actually, brought, is actually sponsored by 2 big traders on Magic Online the first being uh, pay, the MDGO traders and the second being card holder. Now MDGO traders sponsors the league portion of Penny Dreadful. So for top 8 players they actually give prizes. From 1st to 4th it's 6 tickets, 4 tickets, 3 then 2 respectively and from 5th to 8 it's 1 ticket each. So not too bad for a format that's this cheap and has like it has free entry fee for the whole month. Next I'll go on to their competition. So Tournament info is usually like a set date as you can see here and you must sign up within like a time frame so this is actually done on uh, gathering.com where they actually uh, host it and also it's sponsored not by MDGO traders but by the other company I mentioned about card holder so the prices are also not bad I think the ticks are worth more and of course they have a very 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 long scoreboard right here yeah so plenty of um, this one's a bit more inconvenient in my opinion because most of the timing here it's American based so it's not to our favor but the prices are more I believe I've not played a competition yet and also the account is free to sign up for so that's the basics of the Penny Dreadful Magic as well as their Discord which I'll show more tomorrow in the link and yep Alright guys, that will be it for the introduction to Penny Dreadful. Tomorrow I'll be running a link as well as a deck pack to give you guys a better idea of the format while we are under the circuit breaker. At least there's something to watch, eh? Something different every day. Okay, thank you.